Stella got her groove back. Remember that movie? I don't know if Stella got her groove back or when Stella got her groove back, but y'all know Stella did get her groove back, right? Do y'all remember that movie? Everybody was clapping for Stella. Ooh, go Stella, go Stella. You got your young, young, young chocolate thing. Yes. But y'all get on here, not you specifically, but some of y'all get on here and get on other people's channels and talk all kind of mess about y'all need to stop dating these young men, stop crossing the waters for these young men, stop, 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 stop. But y'all was all up in the movies watching Stella get her groove back with her little young thing, 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 thing. Remember that? Re remember the movie? Okay. Y'all bought the videos, DVDs, VCHs, VCRs, whatever the damn thing was at the time. Y'all streaming, Netflixing, and all kind of stuff. But it's a problem that we're doing it now. So I don't know if the problem is, I don't know if your problem is with yourself. I don't know if your problem is that we're crossing the waters to do that. Because would you feel the same way? Because, I mean, people do it in the U.S., except y'all call them cougars, which I'm definitely the hell not a cougar. I don't go around. Cougars look for young men. That's what they like, okay? Why do y'all have a problem with somebody dating a person of legal age? Now, I do get the mentality of the person should be correct. I understand that. I understand that um, a 70 year old probably shouldn't marry an 18 and a half year old. Okay, I get that. But the point is, it's not our business. These people are full flip. For instance, my husband is almost 40 years old. He's not a child. He's 40 with a child. Okay, he's not a child. This lady that was just unalive, which it sounds like to me that I, I don't really, it, it's just kind of sounding like maybe he lied and said they were engaged. And maybe that wasn't true, but I'm not going to make this video about her because, you know, may she rest easy, inshallah. Why do y'all have a problem with us? Why do y'all take the time to get, to get y'all little fingertips going? Please put in the comments why it bothers you. That older women are dating younger men. Why does that fucking bother you? Like, how does it affect your life? How does that affect you when you're making coffee in the morning? How does it affect you when you're on the toilet in the morning? That we're dating younger men. How does that affect you when you're on your way to work? Or in church? Or at the mosque? Or wherever you spend your time at? How does it affect you if it ain't your child? So somebody answer me, please. Like, I just want to know. Like, I really want to know. Like, when I'm brushing my teeth with Pepsi, then I'm not thinking about your life and what you're doing. When I'm flying home, I'm not thinking about your life and what you're doing. How old your boyfriend or your husband is. When I'm making my Folgers coffee, well, in the U.S., when I can make Folgers coffee, which... I can't even buy Folgers coffee this week because TikTok done messed up my money. But when I do get the Folgers coffee, when I'm making my Folgers coffee, I'm not worried about you, what you're doing with your man. Now, I don't want to offend you, the person that, the people that was on my live today. To me, I know you feel innocent and you kind of feel like you're a victim. And I am going to discuss this on my TikTok live only if it comes up. People were on there asking very, very, very personal questions. I mean, the questions were ridiculous, really ridiculous. Luckily, look, luckily for y'all, I didn't have a moderator in the room. Eventually, my moderator came in the room and that was cool because I really, really, really needed him. But y'all, y'all were asking ridiculous questions and like all very personal questions. And like always, you get blocked or deleted or timed out. First of all, if you get timed out, you're not blocked. You're just timed out for that session on YouTube. On TikTok, if you get timed out, you're just timed out. If you get muted, you're just muted for that session. That's different from being blocked. Um, 
So then you, you, you say these ridiculous things on my live, on my comments, on my whatever. You get blocked or deleted or timed out. Then you inbox me. I can probably tell you, I can probably, which I won't, I can probably count 50 messages in the last six months where people, where my moderators have muted people or block, well, they have muted people. Cause I don't know if they blocked, if they can message me, if they've been blocked. I just just say, my moderators have muted people and they inbox me and, and cry victim. Some of the, if I didn't see the comment, then I'll ask my moderator, like, what happened? Because maybe it's a misunderstanding. I used to do that. Now I don't question my moderators. But when I see what you're saying and I see what you're, the, the questions you're asking, the nasty comments you're making on the live, and then you have the nerve to inbox me in August, September, October, November, whatever month, and play victim. Like, I don't know what I said wrong. Yes, you do. Because I saw your comment. When I get to see it, I know what you did. Now, today's issue, I got an inbox from about three people saying the same thing. They didn't know why they got blocked or muted or whatever. Two of y'all were very, 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 to me, I don't even know if it was disrespectful. I don't even know the word to put on it. So I'm just going to say disrespectful. It was very disrespectful. First of all, the topic was open discussion about Ghana only. So for no reason at all would I ask a person anything about their husband's penis or if they're... Uh, I'm trying to use the right word. Hold on, y'all. If they're impotent, I think I said the word right. I would never ask people, I would never ask a grown woman about, especially if you know me and you a regular on my live, you know me, you know what triggers me, you know me and my husband. Pretty, you know us well as creators on YouTube. You don't know everything about us, but you know us very well. I don't understand why you would ask me a personal question about my husband's penis or if it works or doesn't work or if it didn't work, um, will I be allowed to get a second husband? I thought you were being a smart ass. I thought you were being a smart ass. So did the people on the chat and so did my moderator. Then you then you come to me and, and we are cool on TikTok. You've never said anything on TikTok, but for you to say that, and I will never mention your name unless you get on here and say something yourself, I think you were wrong. I think you were dead wrong. I'm the one that muted you. I'm the one that timed you out because you had already been saying stuff before that, that little penis comment. That was a very personal comment. What, that was a very personal comment for you to ask me anything about my sexual life or what if my husband's impotent, incompetent, whatever, his dick don't work, what, whatever. Will I be allowed to? Would I be allowed to um, get a second husband? You already know that I'm not allowed to have a second husband. I had already told somebody if I was allowed to have a second husband, I don't want, I'm not interested in a second husband. So after that comment, you come on further down and ask me this question. I didn't appreciate the question. I was offended by it. I know my husband don't doesn't know what the question means. So I, I, I kind of got into detail on the question after we got off live. My phone went dead and my live ended. That was probably God that did that. But Latif was asking me, what does impotent mean? And I was trying to tell him and then not. So after we got off live, I explained to him what that meant. And he just thought it was the most disrespectful thing that he had heard. Like, why would a person want to know anything like that about somebody else's husband? Like, he wanted to know what I wanted to know. What was the purpose of the question? 
Like, what was the, why did, why do you need to know that? And you know, I wouldn't, okay, I'm going to let that go because I'm getting ready to start repeating myself and I don't want to get upset. Anyway, I will not reveal who you are unless you do. That's your choice. I'm not going to have nothing to do with that. The other person, I can't even remember what that person was doing. I would, I can't even remember. Um, anyway, if y'all watch the live, you'll see. The, the live is up on YouTube. You will see it. I don't know what day I'm going to post this. Um, today is, I don't know what today is, but anyway. I don't know what day I'm going to post this, but, uh, yeah, the video is, up. the video is, um, why did y'all piss Latif off and y'all pissed him off with just, uh, okay. First of all, <clears throat> understand my husband speaks English, but he doesn't understand American English. So a lot of things you'll notice that he won't, he won't understand what you're saying or he'll say, what does that mean? Or even if he doesn't say, what does it mean? I will see that he doesn't understand the question. I have to break it down to him. So when he's on there, be patient with him because he doesn't understand English as well as he speaks it. Uh, so yeah, I, I do appreciate y'all coming on my live. I appreciate y'all coming in the contents, Spe especially people with respect, grown-ups that have the respect as a grown-up. Um, I do appreciate you. I appreciate, like I say, your your likes, your shares, your comments, your gifts, your questions and answers and the love and support. Uh, I did um, post a video to Mr. TikTok because Mr. TikTok is effing my money up. And I'm, I'm pissed about it. I am just pissed about it. So anyway, I love you all. Stay blessed as always.